ADT is out with a new app for their home security system called ADT Plus. And one of the best things about it is that it allows you to control all of your ADT connected devices in one spot. So your Nest Cams, your Yale Smart Lock, your smart bulbs, and of course, all of your ADT security devices. In this video, I'll show you what the ADT Plus user experience is like, both in the mobile app and in the web portal. We'll go through all the menus, the controls, the settings, so that by the end, you'll know exactly what to expect from ADT Plus. I'm Corey from security.org. Let's get into it. Now splitting this video into two sections, we'll start off with the ADT Plus web portal, which you can find at plus.adt.com slash login. After that, we'll shift over to the ADT Plus mobile app on my Pixel. Now, it's essentially two different ways to interface with the system. The web portal doesn't have quite as much functionality as the mobile app. But I still think it's worth mentioning. I wanted to highlight it because you know some folks might want to have that flexibility to go either on their computer or on their mobile device. So here we are at the login page for the ADT Plus web portal. You're just going to type in your email address, your password, and it'll send you over to the main dashboard. You can arm your system. You see here you have the different arming modes. You have arm stay, away, and night. I'll go ahead and select arm away. And from there, I'll count down 45 seconds. That's what I have my exit delay set to. Let's fast forward in time to a five second countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. And now the system is armed away. So from here, I'll trigger the front door entry sensor and see what happens. All right, so the front door entry sensor triggered the system. It started the entry delay on the system. It's counting down from 60 seconds. Basically, I have 60 seconds to disarm the system so that an alarm signal isn't sent out to the monitoring center. Let's select the night arming mode so that if an entry sensor is triggered, it's gonna be an immediate alarm. I'll open that door and brace for the alarm. All right, so that alarm went off, that siren went off, it's very loud, and I silenced it within a few seconds. Moving on below the arm disarm button, you can see a brief event history followed by a device list. We have the ADT smart bulb. If I click that, it'll turn on. And then my ADT Yale smart lock. If I click that, I can unlock that. Awesome, okay, let's look at the full event history. Here we have all the different alarm events, the sensor events, the arming events, so on and so forth. You can see it all here. And if you want, you can also apply various filters up here in the upper right to decide exactly what you want to see. And over here in the users tab, you can see all the folks that you invited to your home. Do things like adjust their access options, for example, uh, this is also where you'll see trusted neighbor users, uh, but more on that in the mobile app portion. Checking out the device list, you can click into any of these and adjust various settings for the devices. Here on the ADT base, for example, you have the brightness settings that you can adjust, as well as a few others. Here with the motion detector, you can control how this device behaves in each mode. You can also do things like adjust the entry delay. Then at the bottom of the list, we have the ADT Yale Smart Lock, and that has various settings that you can adjust on it as well. Onto alerts, you can create custom notifications for specific system activity. Rules, as you can see here, are only available in the ADT Plus app, so we'll cover that in the next section. And finally, in the settings tab, you can control things like when trouble sounds play from your ADT base or customize arming details like exit delay, one touch arming, and abort window time, which is how long you'll have to call off an alarm before it's sent to the monitoring center. Okay, let's shift over to the ADT Plus mobile app. So here in the ADT Plus mobile app, you'll see it looks very similar to the web portal, but there is some additional functionality I'll get into. First, let's try arming the system and triggering an alarm. Let's listen into this on the Nest doorbell. 
Let's test the alarm on the ADT home security system. All right, I was able to disarm that alarm within a few seconds. I don't want the monitoring center to send authorities to my house in this situation. You'll note that in the app, we can see those Nest cameras that integrate with this ADT system. I'll dive into that in a bit, but first I wanted to mention the trusted neighbor feature. We made a whole video on it. If you want all the details, definitely go check that out. But for today, just gonna touch on it briefly. You can add trusted neighbors here in the people section of the ADT Plus app, the options being neighbors or helpers. It walks you through the complete setup process. You'll select when and how the user will be able to access your home, and you get complete control throughout this whole process. Then here's a look at what those trusted people will actually see when you invite them to your home. So a quick step-by-step -step guide on when to come by, how to get in, things like that. When their access time starts, they'll receive a notification and they'll be able to access all of the necessary details right in the app. On to the device list. So here you can see all the devices in my ADT system and you can tap the plus sign here in the upper right hand corner to add a device. In addition to ADT devices, here is where you can add or connect Google Nest devices as well. And that's actually what I want to shift to next. So let's check out the Nest doorbell battery. One thing to note as stated on this screen is that currently not all settings for the Nest devices are adjustable within the ADT Plus app. You see the autoplay option. I like to have that one on, but let's check out notifications. From here, you can control all the intelligent alert notifications, which ones you want on, which ones you want off. So that is nice. From the live stream, you can look at the video history and save media. But beyond that, you're gonna have to use the Google Home app to control the rest of the doorbell settings. Back on the main page, you see here, I can tap to control my smart lock, so to lock or unlock it. Also, I'll note that you can customize the placement of these various elements, which is nice. You just press and hold and drag it to where you want them to be. You can expand the event history section to see a complete event history and filter just like with the web portal. You have the rules tab. This is one of those features that wasn't available in the web portal, but you see here, I created a rule where at 5 p.m. each day, I select it every day of the week, my AET smart bulb will turn on. And that's a nice automation, especially if you want your house to look occupied at night, for example. Finally, we have the Google integration tab. And this is where you can link or unlink your Google account with ADT. And you see here that Nest Aware is actually included with my ADT subscription. So there you have it. That is ADT Plus in all of its forms, the web portal and the mobile app. If you want to learn more about ADT, be sure to check out our full review on the security.org YouTube channel. We also have a full written review over at the security.org website. Go check it out. I'll provide those links in the description below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.